what you really want to know, if I'm an investor, uh, by the way, I, my second largest investment, I, I will disclose it now, I'm not sure how many people know, I'm, a, I'm very close friends with Elon Musk and I'm a big investor in Tesla. And um, so we, Tesla had a good day. And, um, <laughs> and I think Tesla has a lot of upside. Do you know the most popular car by revenue in the United States over the last three months? The number one car in the United States by revenue and, and the, uh, the Tesla Model 3 outsold, uh, outsold in revenue. Forget about Ford and you know, GM. They weren't even close. Outsold Honda and, and Toyota. I loved all the articles about, and I, I would, you know, you know, Elon doesn't know what he's doing, smoke, the pictures of him smoking dope, you know, and the Wall Street Journal, you know, writing all these articles, he's going to have to go out for money. We're, I'm really smart. I'm a, I work for the Wall Street Journal. I know a lot about writings for the Wall Street Journal. This is not going to endear us to the Wall Street Journal, though I, I, I read it every day. Uh, <laughs> I do. It's my it's my favorite newspaper. I'll, I'll be honest. It's my favorite newspaper. It's my favorite newspaper. Uh, uh, yeah, that's no, my favorite newspaper. More than the Economist now. Uh, so, and then people. Oh, there's gonna have to go out for more money. This is all nonsense. And, and I said, Who are you? This guy's landing rockets. You know, he's landing rockets on on you know robot robot drone rafts in the ocean. And you're saying he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, who else is landing rocket? You ever land a rocket on a robot drone? Who are you? I mean, okay, okay, you're telling me he's an idiot. You're telling me he's an idiot. I just want to know who you are, so I know. Why should I believe you as opposed to my friend Elon, who, and we're out here watching this rocket land, and not, which I think is really cool, and you're there in front of your, you know, your Apple Macintosh and typing up an article saying Elon's an idiot. Okay, so, all right. <laughs> I had to get that. But we had, Tesla had a good day. So, but picking, you know, what quarter? Let me, let me tell you something about Tesla. You know, Elon says, we're going to get this done, you know, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll ramp up the Model 3s by Q3. And he's told the whole, he's got the whole Tesla team excited, and we're, you know, trying to get this done. And, and we missed Q3. Ah, oh, God damn it. We we're going to Q4 for sure. And, but motivating the, you know, motivating the team, setting tough, you know, setting tough goals. But it's, it turned out it was very hard to predict what quarter. So there was some relation to your question, my little riff here. Uh, you're, you're saying, okay, when do, what quarter does Oracle just kind of surprise you? Where, where'd this revenue come from? We weren't expecting, this is not any, we can't, we, this point just kind of st snuck onto our chart from nowhere. You know, your, you quote, your revenue is kind of flat, and, and actually it's not flat. Some things are growing very rapidly, and other things are shrinking, and, and we're kind of managing to flat, right? The only way you could be flat for this length of time is if, you know, we, you know, we are kind of de-emphasizing businesses we don't care about, growing businesses we do care about, and going through this transition in a kind of an ex a market acceptable way. And that's what we've been doing, trying to completely raise. So un underneath the covers, you get to, uh, underneath the revenue, and you look at this business, some of the businesses are exploding. Some of the businesses we, we just don't care about. We want to shrink them. You know, um, you know we don't, a lot of those businesses we don't care about. Anyway, there's no way to, until we get the first data, a few data points uh, on autonomous database to see what the adoption rate is and kind of start to measure the slope of that curve. There's no real way for me to tell you. I mean, is it first calendar quarter in 19? Is it second calendar quarter in 19? I don't know. But I, I, I do know, like Elon knows, this is a pretty good product. <laughs> you know, we got to get it to the market. And we're going to sell a lot of this stuff. I just can't tell you exactly what quarter. Now, actually, uh, when it hits, and you get a couple of data points. You get a, let's say it hits in Q2, and then you get another data point in Q3. You start to sense the slope in the curve. You know, it, it's growing, and then all you guys can place your bets. But I fully understand somebody who would say, well, I don't see it in the numbers. Hell of a, as I say, nice presentation. 
you know, when is it going to show up in the numbers? I, I'm just going to wait to when it's going to show up in the numbers. You can do that. I mean, that's the choice, right? I could have waited in terms of buying a lot of Tesla. For, uh, wait for until it just shows up in the numbers. Prove, prove to me. But, but I went, I went, he, you know, drag, we have dinner at the goddamn Tesla factory. Uh, you know, go to the Tesla factory. Uh, I, I went home. Elon slept there. Uh, go to the Tesla factory, look at the Model 3 line, look at the Model 3, you know, go to the Gigafactory, do all of this stuff, talk to the people, talk to, you know, figure out good product. Really cool assembly, really cool assembly line. Gigafactory, amazing.